Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Continuing our top 15 series, we've got something special lined up for you today. I know so many of you have been asking for a customer reviews analysis for this one. Well, we're finally doing it. But before we get into that, don't forget to check this exclusive discount for it. You can find the link in both the video description and the top comment below. Let's not waste any more time and jump right into the details. Starting things off, our first reviewer gives us their perspective. This reviewer who has a strong background in it initially had a very frustrating experience with this router system. In their own smaller townhouse, they found that trying to use advanced features caused instability and constant reboots. They also struggled with performance, especially on the higher frequency bands. A major issue was the system's inability to use certain Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi channels necessary to avoid interference from a nearby airport's weather radar, which severely limited its high-speed potential. Even when a local speed test showed fantastic near-gigabit results, real-world internet use like downloading files slowed to a crawl. The mesh functionality itself proved to be a poor fit for their more compact living space, as devices wouldn't roam smoothly between the nodes. However, their opinion changed dramatically after getting a second opportunity to install the system for a family member in a different environment. In a large 4,000 square foot house, far from any radar interference, the results were night and day. Using the units as wired access points with a slightly older firmware, our reviewer found the setup went smoothly and the performance was stellar. The network delivered the family's full fiber internet speed to nearly every corner of the house, and the connection was incredibly responsive with remarkably low ping times over Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi. Ultimately, this client concluded that the system's value is highly situational. While it proved to be an outstanding solution for a large, spread-out home in a less congested area, it was a source of constant headaches in a smaller home with significant radio interference. It seems to be a powerful piece of hardware, but its performance truly depends on the specific environment where it is deployed. To get things started, let's hear from our first reviewer. This reviewer with a professional background in networking wanted to share their in-depth experience to provide a clear, hands-on perspective on this router. They found the hardware to be of a high-quality prosumer grade that fits between high-end consumer gear and low-end professional equipment. While the device can get warm, its vented design has proven effective at maintaining stability over weeks of continuous use. Upon setting it up, an immediate firmware update is essential to ensure all the latest security and bug fixes are applied. While a basic setup wizard gets you online quickly, this client notes that the user interface is packed with advanced options. To truly customize the system and take full advantage of its capabilities, a user should have some understanding of networking concepts. For those who want to dive deep, online forums can be an excellent resource for tweaking the more granular settings. In a large two-story house where a previous mesh system struggled, a single one of these routers delivered double the coverage and rock-solid performance. It easily handled numerous devices, from phones and smart TVs to various computers and smart home gadgets without any buffering or lag. To achieve total blanket coverage, our reviewer opted to add a second unit, configuring it in access point mode with a dedicated wired backhaul. This setup provided a flawless roaming experience throughout the entire home and even extended a strong signal to the outdoors. The included software features, such as the lifetime security protection and effective parental controls, were also highlighted as significant benefits that work very well. Overall, this reviewer considers this device a fantastic and powerful solution for anyone needing a stable, highly configurable home network that should serve them well for years to come. Great! Now let's see what our next reviewer has to say about their experience. This reviewer apparently spaced and forgot to actually leave a review after buying this gadget, so here it is now. They initially got two of these Wi-Fi routers and set them up in their two-story house to make sure they got a strong 5 GHz signal everywhere. They didn't bother with the AI mesh feature, just used them in a standard router plus access point setup. For their needs, these have been fantastic, quick, affordable, and reliable. Before getting these, our reviewer had a different model, which itself had replaced an older one. They found that this access point actually gave them better range and speed on both the 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz bands compared to the previous models. They even did some pretty in-depth tests and posted them on a forum. With just one router, they could connect in the farthest rooms on the 2.4 GHz band, but the signal wasn't quite what they wanted. After some research, this client realized that one router just wouldn't cut it for full 5 GHz coverage, so they bought a second one and set it up as an access point in a good spot to boost the signal in those distant rooms. 
Running the router plus access point setup means you need to connect them with an Ethernet cable, which isn't always easy for everyone. The main router runs both 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz bands, while the satellite only uses 5 GHz since the main one already covers the house on the 2.4 GHz band. Since setting up this dual router system, everything has been super stable. This reviewer keeps their settings pretty basic. No storage attached to the router since they have a separate NAS. They forward some ports for their server and the router's VPN server works great. They don't use most of the extra features like traffic monitoring or security stuff. Just a typical home network with computers, phones, security cameras, NAS, and a printer all working smoothly. Wi-Fi speeds are as good as you'd expect with a strong signal. The only real tweak they had to make was to get devices to switch. And that's a wrap. Like, subscribe, and drop a comment if you've got thoughts. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.